Hey, welcome to Analive Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Newton, Newton Part okay. Do. <laughs> part, but actually, it'd be like Part, part Do. Do. Maybe. Yeah, Part Do. Anyway. All right. So, Newton is um, an action selection game for one to four players mm -hmm. uh, designed by Nestor Manjon and Simon Luciani and plays in about 60 minutes. All right. I believe. Uh, published by Cranio Creations and here in the States by CMON. All right, so after the break, join us at the table and we'll show you once again how it really plays. All right, welcome back. So here we have once again Newton. And why, you asked, does this video keep disappearing and coming back? <laughs> Well, this is the last time we promise this you this, like, uh, but yeah. we'll, we'll give you a little back, a little bit of background real quick before we take you through the setup. Well, we'll do a brief overview of the setup because right. sure this may not be the, the second or third time you've seen this. This may right. be the first, okay. so we want to make sure nobody misses out. Right. But um, there, in the rules, there is uh, an explanation on how the actions are taken, um, right. but it's a bit ambiguous. Now, Action. Yeah. When we uh, learn this game with a group of board gamers who play right. a lot of board games, we all sort of interpreted the rules to mean that you could take multiple actions during in the row where you play your card to take the action. So we were activating all those symbols in that row. Well, that was the understanding, I think, based on how it was taught to, at least by somebody who was at the booth. So. Yes, yeah, so yeah. this clearly is misleading, and we definitely fell into that trap as well. We just There's no other way to tell, right? So right. we, um, so a viewer actually made a comment on, on the previous video, which we then, you know, we always take these comments very seriously, just so yeah, you know. Of course. Uh, we immediately looked into it. I, I pulled the video down. Uh, we read the rules. Right. And then we watched the video put out by Curio Creation. In Italian. In Italian. Uh, to see how they were taking their actions and they were indeed taking single actions based only on the card and the symbols beneath the cards were purely just for powering up the action of the card. So yeah, so in a sense, it seemed like it you're getting one action per turn and that's it, yeah, so that's which really changes the game, which is where we felt that um, we had to redo the video. Well, yeah, of course, because the thing is, and I don't know. I'll still stand by our our variant because I think it was a lot of fun. But yes, um, yeah. I mean, we want you guys to understand how the game plays, how it's intended to play. Correct. And so while it wasn't clear in the rulebook exactly what you're supposed to do, because there are like a lot of arrows pointing to all these symbols that are. It's like take a basic action, and then it like points to all the symbols right. on the board as like basic actions. And so. if you've never seen the playthrough yet, you don't know how the game plays. You'll understand as we explain right, how yeah. it's played. But Needless to say, you know, we, we take a lot of pride in what we put out. Yeah. And if we put something out that's very misleading, we we will rectify that. And, yeah, and absolutely. this is what we're doing now. As so, soon as we get home from work. Yeah, like we literally just got home <laughs> and we're doing I just want to digress. Like yeah. we were I was on the road all day today for work and here you were like at work at work. Yeah. And um so we're like going through like, oh my god, I think we we screwed it up. <laughs> yeah. So how do we do this? We painted heavily but, over this, but all day. <laughs> but here, here we it are. is. So here you have the setup, and what is what is Newton? Newton is a game about uh, aspiring scientists in the 18th century. Yes, on the heels of Sir Isaac Newton himself. Exactly, and we're we're trying to travel around, visit different universities, different cities, different um, ancient cities, ancient lands, I believe yeah. they're called, um, to collect, I guess, research and data and, and learn things. We're going to be uh, studying lessons. Uh, and applying them all to our bookshelf, where we're going to keep track of all of our studies along the way. Right. Um, and we are going to be doing this by managing a, a deck of six action cards that allow us to do unique actions out on the board. And the way we're going to play these actions is one at a time. On your turn, you're going to be playing a card, an action card, and taking a basic action, whatever the symbol is on the card, onto your player board and that action will actually be something that's out here mm -hmm. or it could even be here. So let's go over the actions. There are Perfect. five main actions in the game. So the first action being the work action. Right. So up here at the top of the board you have this kind of path with a lot of Newtons on it and this is where you're working. I guess supposedly you're working for Newton or I don't know another scientist or something and as you move up the work track and you'll move up one space for each of these symbols that you have on your board 
you're going to get a dollar. Okay. And that's pretty much how it works. That's how it works. So the next action we have is a little gear icon, and it is the tech action. Yeah, so this corresponds to the tech tree. It's actually like a tree, I guess. It is a tree. So I guess, I wonder if this is like the tree where the apple fell. It's the tree of life. On his head. <laughs> the tree of woe. It is the what, tree of woe. That's what I believe it so, is. So um, this is our tech tree, and along again, along the path on this tech tree towards uh, working towards these uh, discoveries, we're going to cross over these invention tiles, which are going to give us bonuses. We might pass over some of these bonus tiles, which will give us um, extra coins, some victory points, uh, some discovery tiles, which will also help us boost our actions right. along the way. So just another another track of bonuses. Right. And the, the meeples we have here are our students. Mm -hmm. And we each start with one student at the start of the track, but we also have three additional students that we have yet to deploy. Well, there, there's ways to deploy them yes. throughout the game. Um, also on the board are some of these extra like upgrade tiles that we'll be able to place on our board to boost our action power as we go along. Yeah. Right? So the next action I think we'll cover is the lesson action. Right, so our lessons again are up here. So when we take this action, we'll be able to take one of these lessons into our hand. So Correct. we start off the game with six basic cards. Mm -hmm. We're going to be tucking one of those each round. So gaining some of these higher power cards with some additional um, like bonus actions on them is going to be really beneficial to us. Right. So we do that by taking lessons. And again, we'll either take a level one, level two, level three, depending on how many of these little caps we actually have actually on our Actually have board. on your study board. So next we'll be study. Yeah, so then we take our nice lessons and we study them. Right. And here on our player board and kind of like our office or our study, we have our, well, we call it like the book action, our study mm -hmm. actions. So depending on how many books you have on your desk here on your player board, you can either take a level one, two, or three study action. And what that allows you to do is to take these little book tiles, which are on the side here, flip them over and fill in any of these spots in the corresponding row where you've met the objective for that space. So for example, if I were to play, you know, I had this card on my on my board and then in the future I played a book action, I would be able to cover up this blue book because I have one. And it book. is the one so, the one yep. study action level one study action blue book, you'll be able to cover that up. Yep. And if you are able to complete columns and rows, you'll start earning income exactly. and victory points at the end of each round. Yep. And uh, the the nice thing about this too is that as we take these little book tiles and put them on our kind of on our shelf here, we'll start to uncover some of these extra bonuses too, which is also a nice bonus. Yep. So for our fifth action, we have the travel action. Yeah, so finally we have our travel board over here. So this is a map of Europe, right? Mm -hmm. And we'll be able to take our, uh, it's like our scholar. Our scientist, right? Our yeah. scientist guy. And he's gonna travel it all around the map to different cities and to these ancient ruins, also collecting some bonuses along the way perhaps. And the unique thing about the travel board is that we're gonna be dropping these little travel cubes in cities that we visit, for example. Or universities. Or univer yeah, the univer oh, yeah, the universities, which are these guys. Um, and the cities. And the cities, which are the these. squares. And, uh, and our ancient. Right. Things, and and those really them. just <laughs> allow you to, uh, that's the prerequisite to being able to cover them up on right. your desk board with books, right? Yeah. So if you take a study action, uh, you'll actually be able to cover. So if you visited Cambridge University and you take a level two study action on a, on a subsequent action, you'll be able to cover up Cambridge University exactly. on your track. So that's right. what that's for. Yep. Um, and finally, we have the wild action, which yeah. really just lets you cop take any action you want and mm -hmm. then it'll be powered by however many of the symbol of the action you're taking on the board. Correct. That's really it. That's it. Um, as we travel around these tracks, you know, you'll see these sort of ribbon tokens. Those are end game bonuses. So mm -hmm. if you can get your students there and they just park there, you're going to be able to score that at the end. If you can get your uh, scientist there and drop a cube on it, you'll be able to score that. There are certain uh, scoring income bonus tiles that you'll be able to add to, to parts of your board that'll let you score them mm -hmm. every income round. Uh, if you're able to add them, we'll show you how right. that happens. So when it, once you take your basic action, you then optionally have the ability to take these quick actions. Mm -hmm. And these quick actions are really just spending money or spending potions to do uh, certain things. And they'll, they'll be able to boost, um, you'll be able to draw two additional cards from any of those tracks up there. You'll be able to boost your action well, flip actions. two cards. Not flip two cards, I'm sorry, them. reveal yeah. two cards. Uh, you'll be able to boost, for every two bucks, you'll be able to boost your action power by one. Uh, for $3, you can buy one of these 
They're actually called alchemy tokens. I know, yeah. Uh, we, th in the book, they're called potion tokens, but it doesn't seem right thematically. So we're going to yeah. call them alchemy tokens. Yes. So you get an alchemy token, which can be used to replace the requirement of any colored book. So mm -hmm. if you're short of a blue book to fill this in, pay an alchemy token, and you'll be able to cover that up. Right. And finally, for five coins, you can buy uh, or pay to have one of your students brought out onto the tech track. Right. Right? You're like sponsoring them, I guess. Sponsoring. <laughs> so we each start with $2 our deck of cards, mm -hmm. and we each have randomly drafted, well, we randomly were dealt eight yeah. master cards. And well, we were dealt four, and then we drafted. Sorry, yes. Five. Well, four between the two of us, and then we drafted among those eight cards. Um, and these are the four masters, or master scholars, if you will, that will aid us if we get, get, you know, get their attention by um, landing on one of these spaces and claiming one of these spaces that has a master symbol right mm -hmm. that matches the back of the card and then we'll be able to play one of them and they have pass abilities or instant abilities that will help us out throughout right. the game so with that said we're going to play six rounds every round we're going to be tucking one of our action cards mm -hmm. underneath the board and once we have all five filled we do one more round right. and then final score yeah right so your player one i think that Arts. pretty much sets it up and we'll get ready to start this playoff all right all right. Okay, so for my action, my one action. Your one action. I'm going to play the travel card. All right, so as you can see, that gives me a nice blue book on my desk, and I'm traveling. It's I'm the Kelly Blue Book. It's the Kelly Blue, the best blue book out there. I'm going to travel to Paris for one, one <clears> movement, <throat> and then I'm going to drop a cube. Drop there. a cube. Yep. All I'm right, trying. simple enough. So just so everybody's clear, what we did in the first playthrough is whenever we played a card, we activated every symbol as an action in that right. column. Right, because, because, because drawers. Because drawers <laughs> and because symbols. <laughs> uh, so then she would have actually taken the study action as well. And then I would have taken the study action and put like a level one book right. on my book. Which box, made so. this game much heavier. Yeah, it was very which I But let's not think yeah, about that We won't right talk now. about let's that. We're going to talk about doing it the right way. The intended way. The intended way. So here we go. I'm going to play a tech action okay. and I'm going to move my little dude up a space. So I will go here. Okay. I will play this tech action mm -hmm. and I will move one space right here and I get three points. Three points. So you keep that token and score three points. I am going to take the work action, which now, because I have another work symbol on my board, it is a power of two. So the work track is up there. Please move me forward two spaces, and I will collect two dollars, one dollar per Very space. Very good. And to you. Okay, and I will take the book action, and I now have two books, like a two book action, mm -hmm. but I only have one book, so I'm only going to take the one book action space the one book action space oh, i want to take that one book action space though oh <laughs> it's kind of chintzy oh, i guess i'll do it anyway do it oh. anyway your turn oh it's my turn it's your turn all right so i'm just trying to think about what do I want to do here? Do -do -do. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so I'm going to take the travel action and I'm going to move my guy one. Oh, good job. Uh, oh. I'm going to pay $2 to move him two spaces. So if you pay two oh, bucks, yeah. you can boost your action by one. So I'm going to actually move him here. And anything you pass over, you collect. Mm -hmm. And this token gives me a student. So I'll get somebody else on that track and I'm landing here. And if you land on a space, you can place a cube down. So now I've just visited the Leipzig, Leipzig University. Leipzig. All right. Um, I guess I'll go here and study hmm. something or get a lesson. I'll take this lesson. Teach you a lesson. Teach you a lesson. Uh, I'm going to study as well, but I'm going to power it up with $2 and take a level two study action and take this card. Very good. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to take a work action 
and move one space and get one dollar. A dollar. Okay. Thanks. And I will take... <coughs> oh, bless you. I will take this work action, which is now a power of three. Mm -hmm. So if you move me ahead three spaces, I will collect three more dollars. Really How do you have so many work things? Oh, you bought that. You better work. And I also have one on my board. Oh, okay, that's right. So that's it. So now we have to choose one of the action cards we played and then tuck it. Bury it. Ooh. Yeah, this is scary. Mm. Because you will not have that action. I'm going to tuck this. Yeah, what do I have extra of? I guess I'm going to tuck a travel. Yeah, I'm taking a work. Because the, the trade-off is you're burying this symbol, so you, you'd be burying one of your books. Is it, Was yours blank? It was blank. Oh, see, mine's not. My travel has a book on it. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, I guess they're different in every deck. Yeah. All right, so that is the end of the round. We would normally do income now, but there are no um, tokens income that would pay generators. us income, and there are no completed columns or rows at this point in the game. So the next thing we do is refresh these. Bury cards. the three on the bottom of the deck and bring out three new cards for next round. So we have no idea what's coming out. Oops. All right. I have like alligator. You're right there. I have alligator arms right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because uh, your shirt? I feel like, yeah, I feel like oh, a T-Rex. Yeah. Okay, uh, so that's it. I'm now player one. Oh yeah, here's your apple. Yep, and we get to start off round two. Alright. So I get to start us off, uh, right? Yes, you do. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, what did I want to do? Alright, so there's a couple things, a couple things. Alright, I'm going to start off with this work action. Mm -hmm. Get some books on the board. Two, uh, two works. Two works. All right. So you actually get a coin. Oh, two coins. Two coins. And I landed and on a instant this thing. Instant gratification. Instant gratification. All right. So that's what I got. Yes. Was this uh, text symbol? So what? What? Whenever you get one of these, they go from left to right, covering that bottom. So now this will be boosting my tech action. Right. This will be boosting my tech action. <laughs> that sounds so weird. What? Why did that sound why, so why weird? Why does it sound weird? It'll be know. boosting your tech action. Or it, will, it will boost my tech action. So. It will, it'll be boosting. It will, yeah. be, it will be boosting. Okay. Yeah, weird. Okay. I'm going to play travel action. Okay. With a blue book on it. Same thing I did last time. Oh, wow. So I'm going to go here. One. Uh, no, this is one. You have to oh, stop on that. Oh, I have to stop that. there? Yeah, it's a yellow space. Uh, 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 uh. It's worth two bucks. We could pay two and go. Yeah, I actually am going to do that. I'm just going to pay two, but I get two, so I'll just pay nothing. So you pay nothing, but you'll get that token. Uh, and visit the, the Hector Salamanca University. The Universidad de Salamanca. Oh, why they would name the university after him. <laughs> he was a very evil man. All right, so I'm going to do... I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to play this uh, tech action. I know it's a two-strength tech, so I'm going to move two spaces. One... Two, and I'm going to collect this, which is worth one coin, and I'm going to earn three victory points and two alchemy tokens. One, two, cool. three. All right. Hmm. Okay. I am going to go. Guess I'll. Do a work action also. And just go two spaces, so I'll get two dollars. Two dollars? Mm-hmm. Just looking at what's out on the board for draft. I will I'm gonna play a lesson and I'm gonna take that green lesson card, please. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I will play this lesson, and I will take this lesson. This lesson? This lesson. Your turn. Alright. I don't know what I want to do just yet. 
Okay, I think I know what I need to do. So I'm gonna play this card and get a double powered lesson so I can draft from here and I'm gonna take this travel card. Okay, I am gonna do this mm -hmm. and take a work action for three. Whoa, that's three two, bucks. Three, and I think I'll go one more, I'll pay two dollars. So you'll get three and pay two. So you net one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Kind of silly. Uh, and you get. Um, and I get the same thing. All right. How many did you get? Where were you? I was here, and I went one, two, three, because I have one, two, three. And, and you I pay two, but you more. get an extra coin back because you get a coin for that space. See the coin. Around? Oh yeah, this you coin. You do get paid yeah, for that. You're right. I just want to make sure you got yeah, paid. Yeah. Thanks. You got paid. I got paid. All right, so I'm going to do the study action, and I'm going to cover. I'm going to cover this green book here because I do have one green book out. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. Okay. Yep. Your action. I will do this, and that gives me a book action of two. So I'll cover up this guy over here. Okay. For blue book, green book, yellow book. That's a good one. All right. All right, let's bury cards. So I'm gonna take- Who's bury cards? Who's bury cards? Um, uh, we'll that. Right. I'm gonna bury that lessons. Right. I'll bury my books. And I still haven't finished anything, nor have you, right? Nope. So we'll cycle the cards again. I will take the apple. No income. So we did do some drafting. Well, this isn't good. Ooh, yeah. All right, now let's move okay. on to round three. Okie doke. So I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna go here, one, boop. And I have to pay $3 toll to the ocean liner that took me there, I guess. <laughs> put the cube there. And another thing to notice is when we're dropping these travel cubes, you always do it top to bottom, left to right, so. So as not to uncover your victory points too soon. Too soon. Too soon? It's too soon. Sorry. <laughs> too soon. All right, I'm gonna take a one, two, three. I'm gonna take a travel action. And it's gonna be a level two travel action, but I get a, po well, an alchemy token, not a potion. Uh, travel to Krakow, pay a dollar in toll on the street toll, and then drop a cube at the Universidad mm. de Krakow. De Krakow. I don't really like any of those cards up there. Hmm. Um, hmm. I don't have many good things to do. I have more hats than this. <laughs> All right, I'll take, I'll do this. Hat action, I'll study. Action. For one. Action. Action. Okay. I'm also gonna do a lessons action. Mm-hmm. But it's going to be the power of two, and I'm going to boost it with two bucks to make it a power of three and draft that card. I will do this. Take another hat to action. All right, 
I'll play this tech action. This will be a power of two. But I'm going to make it a power of three with two bucks. And go Burn through that money. one, two, three. And I get any token. Nice. Any one of these. And I will take a book. So okay. Study. Boost my study capabilities. Nice. And I will do this travel action again for two. Mm -hmm. And I will go one, two at Cambridge University. And I get one point. One point. Um, I'm going to now go with a work action. So I'm going to go one, two spaces on the work track for two bucks. Two spaces on the work track? Please. Okay. And that is it. And I... I'm going to do this. Joker. Joker. Um, so I'm going to make this a book mm -hmm. action. So I get a book action of... Three books. Oh, I don't want a book action of three. I meant a hat. Oh, you're going to make it a lessons I'm action. Make it a lesson action. Okay. So that I can take this. Excellent. Then I will finish with a study action. Okay. Of power two. Okay. But I'm only going to use a power of one mm. and cover. The power of love. The power of love and cover this triple blue book. All right. Boop. Okay. Very good. Burying the book. Taking these off. Um, this is one of these hats. Put these out. <clears throat> Okay. I believe I get wow, Newton's apple. You do, with his face in it. Yes. I wonder if he was like looking in that apple and he's like... Uh, this is a delicious reflection. apple. Alright, okay. so we are on to round four now. Yep. Alright. Hmm. One, two, three. Interesting. Okay. So, what can I do here? There's so many options, but I'm not sure what I want to do. Uh, maybe I will I'll do a lot of traveling. We'll start with a little travel. So it's a power to travel. So I'm going to go one, two. And this tile in this town or the city of Ween mm -hmm. lets me pay $2 to place a cube on a ancient land, on an ancient land. So I also get a uh, alchemy token for that. So which ancient land do I want? I'll probably take, whew, this is tough, this is tough. Yeah, I'm gonna take Stonehenge. Okay. Okay. Oh, right. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna play this book. Mm-hmm. Study action, which gives me a potion token, please. Alchemy token. Alchemy token. And wow, look at how that landed like that. Wow. Wow. That is magic. <laughs> that is magic. I'm gonna leave it. Okay. Um oh actually it gives me a study action of three, but I'm only gonna take a two. Okay. I'm gonna take You can always take less. Yes. Never more. Never more. Quoth the raven. <laughs> so I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I don't know which way those books are maybe like that. Cover up this Stonehenge thing. So now that I filled this in, I'll actually start getting an income of two. Around two points. Income of two? Mm-hmm. Oh wow. And I get that. another potion for that because I unveiled my It's like a potion yeah. explosion here. It is. Whew. Um Okay. Interesting. One, two, three, 
four, five. Just doing some math in me head. One, two, three. Okay. That's pretty cool. Well, it's your turn. Yeah, I know. I was I was considering what I wanted to do, and what I decided was that I'm gonna play this guy. Okay. He's gonna give me two tech movements. And I have a few Option. options of what I can do here. One, two, three. So what I guess I can do is I will play, I will pay $2 because I want to move three spaces instead of two. So I'm going to go one, one, two, three. So I can actually go right to here and get my master. Where were you? I was right on this. One, two, three. Oh, okay. So I'm going to use Blaise Pascal. Now Blaise Pascal is going to come out and help me. I've just gained his attention. Mm -hmm. And what he's going to allow me to do is move up, travel five spaces and not have to pay any tolls. One time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I'm going to stop on Cambridge. Okay. And claim it. Nice. So he got me right to Cambridge University. Very good. That We're having good. like a meet up. We are. <laughs> a meet. Good. A meet. All right. All right. You done? I'm done. You done? I done. All right, I guess I'll use this guy. So I'll take a compass. So I get one dollar, but I'm gonna have to pay a dollar because I'm traveling here. Mm -hmm. That's it, your turn. Okay. Uh, I thought I had more of those. Oh dear. <laughs> I might have to do some studying. Yeah, so I'm gonna study or do lessons. Mm -hmm. So it's at level two. And I'm gonna take this here. Mm-hmm. Um, I am going to do another compass action and go two spaces. One, two. Holy baloney. To baloney. <laughs> Bologna. You always Bologna. call it Bologna. Bologna. You always call it Bologna. Bologna. One, two, three. Study action. So I'm going to put a book. Where do I want to put a book? I have so many options. Did I? No, I didn't go there. So I'm going to cover up. Oh, you went there. I did go there. I'm going to cover up this two. Two blue. That's done. Okay. But I get a alchemy token. I have so many alchemy tokens. That's crazy. Okay. I will go... Yeah. And I'm going to use this as a book also. Mm -hmm. So I have four books, but the max is three. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go here and cover up my Bologna. Bologna. <clears throat> Bologna University. Okay. So I'm going to do a tech action. Mm -hmm. uh, how many tech symbols do I have out? Three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there, I'm going to go one, two, three, and I'm going to gain a victory point and a dollar. And two dollars. Two dollars for that too? And a three book action. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do though is take this one. So I'm going to pay three potions mm -hmm. so that I can, or three alchemy tokens, and that allows no, me to ignore. you can't upgrade these. Oh, I can't? Mm -hmm. Why can't I? Just when I take a three book action, I'm not upgrading that action. Okay. I'm paying three of these because that, that bonus action, mm -hmm. that allows me to ignore the requirement for placing a book. You don't agree with that. All right, then I won't go there. I'll go somewhere else. All right, no, I think I can do this. Okay. The book doesn't say, the, the book says you can't increase the value with coins or right. with any of the symbols in your tableau, but it doesn't say you can't spend the three, uh, alchemy tokens to 
ignore the requirement mm -hmm. of a city or university tile when placing a book on your board. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with that triple book action. Oh, that's cheap. I had to go all the way there. You did. Mm. But that's why I have so many of these tokens, I figured. Yeah, oh, okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to take a tech action myself. And I'm just going to go up to stop there. Mm. Um, so that's two gear symbols times, I have one of these ancient ruins times two. So that's four points. All right. You are at eight. Yep. That's it. That's it. So we tuck. Oh, God, I don't want to tuck any of these. Mm, that sucks. <laughs> yes, it does. Eek. Oh, I should have played a different card. What was I thinking? Oh, I don't like this at all. I guess I'll tuck this guy. What was I thinking? I don't know. All right, I'm okay. Can you do that last one? I can do that. All right, do you get income this time? I do. What do you get? I get two victory points and three victory points. So you get it's five victory points. like five victory points to me. All right, <laughs> so we, you are player one now? Yep. And we are on to round five. Okay. Right, so I am player one, right? Ready. Ready player one. Are you ready? All right, so I am going to play my compass. And that gives me a dollar. Okay. And I only have one compass, so I can only move one, but I'm going to boost it and go two spaces. And go one, two. So I'm actually going to bring out both two more of my estudiantes. How'd you do that? Uh, I took one from here, which was a bonus. Oh, that was a student bonus, bonus too? Yeah. Wow. And I get to put a thing on that Istanbul. Well, you have to put a thing on that Istanbul. I have to. If you wish to take that action. You are up. You're up. Yeah. Okay. Well, that sounds... Great. So I guess what I'll do. Interesting. Okay, I can do that. Uh, cap and gown. I'm gonna play the cap and get a double cap, cap. action. It's cap. It's cap. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take <laughs> this one, and this has a pretty cool bonus. That lets me place an additional oh, for book $3. tile for three dollars. Yeah. Well, you take an additional book. Action. It lets me place two tiles instead of just one. Right. Which is really good. Yeah. Okay. When you take that book action. Oh, I'm going to take that book action. Uh, but you actually have to split it up when you do it. Okay. So it's like two ones if you have two books. Or a one or a two. A level one and two if I have three yeah, books. Yeah, so it's not like two three book actions or something. No, that's fine. <laughs> that works just dandy. Dandy. Let's see. How many caps do I have? Oh, oh, you know what I need? Okay, I'm going to play this cap. That's two. Level two study Level action. Level two study action. Um, but I'm going to pay two dollars and boost it to get this. Okay, what does that one do? Um, so this, if you pass over a bonus, you get, oh, you get it twice, twice the bonus. That is very good. So I'm going to go ahead right now and play the card I just bought and pay my three dollars to take advantage of the double placement. I have three books, but I'm gonna place two level one mm, book actions. Pretty good. And finish Oh you got that six pointer. Finish this big row That's of good. books. And now I can earn an income of six points and I get four dollars for doing that. Oh very good. So you've really been one, placing a lot of books. Two, three, four. I'm very well read. <laughs> they didn't have audible back then. So <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. You actually have storybooks. Storybooks? Storybooks. Hmm. Uh, okay. I guess I'll go here. So I'll do a tech action. And I have three, so I will go three. One, two, three. And that gives me any choice I want. And Your choice. I am low on... Mm, I guess I'll take tech. Okay. Ooh, I want to do this. Kind of. Kind of do. One, two, three. I want to. I have five bucks. Oh, man. This is a tough call. What? I don't really. I don't know if I want to do that. Not just yet. I can't. I can't. So I'm just going to play this now, and it's going to give me a, a power three tech action. And I'm just going to move him right. No, I can't move. Yeah, I can move him into here. Because what that, the requirement to get in there it is three, three green, green books, books and, and a yellow. yellow. So I'm two books shy, but I'm going to pay two alchemy tokens. Okay. And they can be used to replace books. Right. right. So now that's an end game scoring. I'm going to get two points for every one of these I've collected. Mm -hmm. I really haven't collected a lot. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. All right, I will go. I guess I'll do this and take a work action for two. Mm hmm. One. Oops, that's you. One, two. Say two bucks, please. Okay. Thanks. Uh,. I'm going to play a travel action. That's going to earn me an alchemy token. And allow me to go two spaces. So I will go... Um, let's see, do I want to go one, two? I'll just go one to Paris and drop a cube there and pay a dollar. So that's it. Okay. And I will go here and do a travel action as well, which is two, but I'll pay two mm -hmm. to go one more. And I'm going to go one, two, three and place a cube there. So that'll give me end game um, two, three points for every set of two cards. Now I have two yellow books and a green book, and it needs three yellow books, so I'll pay a potion. Okay. Now I passed over this bonus tile token, which gives me two points and one potion, but I have this double Oh, so token. four points and two potions. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh, and but it has to be on the action you I move it. That? Yes, it has uh, to be when you play it. That sucks. I was going to say. It's not a passive. I was like, that seems like too good to be drank. Give me one of those back. Nope. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you then you get the two points back. Yeah, points. I took them all away. Thank you. you take all my points. Take it all away. Uh, my final action is going to be to study. So I'm going to get a dollar for this card. And for discard, I'm going to get to do another book action. And I will place a book right on this bookshelf because it requires a green, a blue, and a yellow book. And I have that. So that is that. Okay. It's good. All right. You're done? Yep. Ooh, I don't know what to bury here. Well, sometimes it's easier to tell what you want to keep. Yeah, but I keep doing this to myself. All right, I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay. So this is it, folks. Last round. Mm -hmm. This is where we need to make it all happen. Well, actually, we have two more rounds. We do? No, we don't. Oh, this is the last one. This is it. The bottom of the board is filled. Oh, yeah, filled. that's right. There's nowhere else to put cards. True that. Once you can't bury any more cards, the game is over. Yeah. We are there. I can't that reach those. That big $2. Those. Oh, yeah, let me get those. 
That's big two dollars. Yeah, why does it look so big? I don't know, it's like giant coins. Uh, but we are going to collect some income now, at least I am. Yep, I am too. All right, so what do you have for income? I have five. So you finish that row, so it's three. Three, five. You finish that column, is five, yep. so you go five. I finish this one for six, mm -hmm. and this one for three, so I get nine. Nice. Nine plus four is 13. All right. And I am player one now, mm -hmm. and we are ready to jump into the final round. All right. I'm not even sure what I want to do at this point. I've got things, but I'm not sure. And I'm kind of broke. Five dollars? I guess I could try to get some cash money out. Cash money millionaire. Um, I really do need to travel though. We'll travel. Because we'll travel. We'll travel. Well, I'm well traveled. Yuck. I don't like the cards I have, to be honest, either. So if I bring out a cap, the cap, I'm gonna bring out the cap. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is so terrible. It really is terrible. Um, oof. So if I bring out the cap, it's a power of two, and I pay two bucks, it'll be a power of three, and I'll take this card. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess... I guess I'll do this. And do a book action for three. I get one potion token. Mm -hmm. And I will place a book on this. Paris University. <sighs> yeah, this is this is tough. I'm not liking the way this is turning out at the end. I have a lot of things I need to do and I can't do them. Um, what do I have? Three books here? Or two if I play another one. What can I cover? That's that's the challenge. Yeah, I didn't go the book route this time. You didn't? It's not a time. Two. Okay, I'm going to do this. One. Whoa, that's, a little, that's not the one I want to play. I want to play you, but that's going to give me one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, so let's do this. Watch. This card I just bought. So what it's going to allow me to do is for two extra dollars, I could put down one extra cube, but only on a space that I pass over. Okay. So, but I get a movement of one, two, three. So I'm going to go one, two, three and put out two cubes, one on Salamanca mm -hmm. and one on Cordoba. 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 That's how that works. Okie doke. And I will go get rid of my other blue book. My Kelly blue book. Kelly this. blue book. All right, so this gives me an action of two. One, two. So I get two dollars. Can I pay two that two dollars to go there? No. Okay. <laughs> Just thought I'd ask. All right, so I can do, so I have one, two books out, I can play a book, a book, book, no, I need three books, huh? So I can do book, okay, so I want to play this book, and I'm going to get a coin, and I'm going to take a three, a level three book action, so I'll put a book right here on Cordoba that okay. I just discovered. So you done? Mm-hmm. Okay. I will take I'll play this tech action. So I have a tech movement of four now. And I'll go one, two, three, four. Q oh wait, we don't put cubes on that, do we? 
Um, but I passed over this pointer, mm -hmm. and now I do get the double bonus, so I get four points for that. You get double bonus? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I do. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Shoot. I'm like low on cash here. This is not... Oh, and to go in here, I actually had to pay two potion tokens because I have a blue and a green book, but okay. I needed another blue book. Did you pay them? And another blue book, yeah. All right. Well, if I'm not watching you. You'd be cheating. All right, I'm going to play another study action. One, two, three. It's a level four. I don't have enough money to boost it, so I'm just going to play this guy down here on the city of Paris and complete this row. Okay. And that gives me a MasterCard, not a Visa. A MasterCard. Not Visa. Um, oh, interesting. This is pretty cool, but I, I don't think I can. Wow. One, two, three. I'll do that. I'm going to play Galileo. Where did you go to get a MasterCard? I revealed this. Oh, yeah, because you've been putting out books. I've got Galileo Galilei, and he allows me to travel three spaces and put a cube down on each space that I can put a cube, put a cube down on. So okay. I'm going to go one, two, three. Put two more cubes down. Hmm. I'm going to pay $2 for travel fees, but I'm going to earn $4 from Madrid. Hmm. And I'm going to also get three victory points for revealing these. Two, three. One, two, three. But I'm also going to get a plus one token mm, for yeah. being on this income. medical thing. So this is actually going to be an income tile area Good. at the end of the game. Hi. Are you done? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go here. I get a coin. Coin. Please. One coin. And I have a movement of two. So I'm going to go on two. To Krakow okay. University. I'm going to play the wild card. The Joker. <laughs> And he is going to be study. And study is going to be level like one, two, three, four, five. But I'm only going to do a study level three. Mm -hmm. Which will allow me to cover that. So study level two. Study level two. Yeah. yeah. So Salamanca University. Okay. And I will play my Joker as well. And I'll do another travel action. And go here. And I'll pay a dollar for tolls. And drop the cube. And that gives me one victory point. Dropping cubes. Dropping cubes like it's hot. All right. Okay. So that is it. I didn't get to put out any master tokens. Nope. But we're going to do income now. So what is your income? Um, three, four, uh, wait a minute, not three. Just five still. Three and five. Five. So you are at 30. And I'm going to get six, mm -hmm. get nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 16. 16, 17. 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirty-three. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna do end game scoring. Yes. Right. Let's score. So end game scoring is very simple. It's for every objective tile you've claimed, mm -hmm. either on the tech track or on the travel board, yep. as well as any of your uh, masters that you've been able to right. to achieve. So you want to do yours first? I could do mine first. Sure. Okay. Um, and Keep seven for your master's. So seven for my master's degree. <laughs> so I am at 40. And I get two points for every one of these. Two, four, six more points. Okay. 46. Okay. Okay. Now I get every, I get three for every city or every university rather that I have a cube. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, but the max is only 15. 15. So one, two, three, four, five, 45. All right. And then I get two or three for every two cards. This does not count my starting cards. Correct. So, so they're easy got, to see. Just yeah. Off. Just turn them on upside down. So all your starting cards were under your deck. Yeah, exactly. So right. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So also. you get three so, more points, right? Times three uh, is nine. Wait, two. Yeah, so we get nine points. Nine points. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. 54 to 46. Not bad. That was a close one. Yeah. All right, that's it. All right, let's talk about it. All right, there you have it. Again. Newton, the way we believe.
the way we think it's supposed it to be. It should be played. And, and I'll be honest, I think I think it played it a lot more sense. out. It made a lot more sense. It, it certainly, the way the game ended as much as we were able to do this time, I think it made more sense because... As little as we were able to do this time. Right, you're, you're definitely limited. And I don't think we did a little. We did quite a bit. Mm -hmm. If you look at the board, we've, we've gotten, I got almost all my cues out. You did as well. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to cover a number of books yeah. and still get two of my apprentices up to the to the end of their oh, of their rows, right? Tracks, yeah. You know, my scoring bonus that I chose was probably the worst one for me. Yeah. Being that I only had three of these tokens. Right, like I had a whole bunch. But these are limited as well, too, so Right. So you, like can, you can only ever get a max cap of fourteen, of like but 14, that's fourteen, fifteen, something. Right. But I, I left about eight points on the table. Yeah. Because I, I, it was just the only one I went right. to. But in any case, um, it certainly plays differently, and it, and it really has changed our thoughts on a couple of things yeah. with our previous uh, you know, review of this game. Right, right. So let's go through all of our normal stuff sure. so, that, so that everybody has a better idea. Um, so from a replayability standpoint, I would say that... I mean, we said before that like the replayability is very high. Yeah. I still feel like it's very high. I do. I don't think that's changed at all. I think no. they, they especially because you're more limited. Yeah, the variability, the the card drafting is is even more important. Yeah. I think now because I think more of the 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 focus is on what cards you have in your and like we we were talking about this earlier. I think this the way we played it before versus the way we played it now, and, and, and in this structure, I think the game becomes more of a hand management game. Less of a tableau. Less builder, of a tableau builder, really. right? Because before we were kind of triggering our tableau, and I think it made it a much more chunky, Euro-y, thinky it experience, which you loved. I loved it. Right? But, and this really kind of takes that away and, and puts it all the focus on and the strategy on playing and timing of your cards, because that's right. what's very important, and being able to trigger the stronger moves utilizing your tableau, not triggering additional actions usually in your tableau. Well, and if you want to take multiple actions in the same round, getting those cards out so yes. that you can take a one book action and then a two book action. Correct. You know, or whatever you want to do, but actually acquiring those cards first. Yep. And I think there's a lot more strategy on what card you choose to bury because if you don't have that symbol anymore in your hand, mm -hmm. you're not taking that action. Right. You exactly. need to go draft another one yeah. or use your joker. So right. I think that really puts, again, it limits puts you. it limits you and puts a lot of the, the strategy into the hand management now. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it, it creates a different game for me. Right. So you're, you're still going to have a lot of variability with the way that the tiles come out. So your bonus tiles and your invention yeah. tiles and all of that. And that will change the will, game. Yeah, it'll change the way that you, hopefully the way that you guide your... Um, you know, young budding scientists, mm -hmm. your students along the track and also how you move your folks around. I know you were saying that you were kind of able to work the book strategy because the cities were lined up in the right, right. way and, and all of that, which was good. Um, I didn't really have a plan. It just kind of worked out. <laughs> yeah. did. So I mean, I knew I kind of wanted to go the city route and later on it was easier for me to get those students out. So it, it all just kind of worked. But it's not to the point where you could really like say, this is what I'm going to do this game before yeah. the game is set up. So the variability is there in how everything comes out. It's going to be very unexpected every yeah, time. Yeah, and, and you really have to focus on what particular track you want to use mm -hmm. to do your bonus scoring. Right. And what uh, inventions are out there that you want to go for and what objective tiles are going to be the most beneficial to you. In your overall strategy, like you choosing the city bonuses right. or the university bonuses, was huge. Knowing that you could ju you could run around quickly yeah. and scoop up all and the. And I already universes. had a couple, so I was yeah. like, okay, that I'm made all the sense in the world. Me choosing that and not being able to grab enough of these tokens was my yeah. downfall, right? Because right? that cost me about eight points, which was the difference. Well, here. especially in a two-player game, because less of those come out. Yeah, less guess, come out. Yeah, the, you, so have the, you have less opportunity to get them. So. Yeah. Um, but still, the replayability is absolutely there. Okay, yeah. um, so probably the biggest difference is like weight and audience, yeah. right? Absolutely. So, um, it was funny because when we were we were looking at this and we you know we were on the Cranio website and it, they classify this as a light game. They do. And we were we were thinking we're like, why would they say this? Like, they must be like brilliant over there. Yeah, there seriously. They're like, this is light. Like, I mean, I you know obviously I wouldn't have classified it as light. This, the way that we played it here, yes. the way I think it was intended to be played, definitely light. Light. Well, I'd I say, would say... I would say light, light, light. I'd say it's midweight. Azul light. A lighter, <laughs> lighter midweight game. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely more accessible yeah, for 
you know, new gamers, mm -hmm. I would say, um, or even families. Yeah, this yeah, definitely this opens not, up the audience for this. Yeah, it, it, and the strategy is there, you know, in kind of a fun way, but it's not, it's like, it's not punishing if you're not working a particular strategy. You can kind of play cards and stuff happens. Yeah. So it's... Yeah, you'll still score you know, points. You're, you may, still you're not going to win the game, but you'll score points, right? Yeah. So if, if you really are competitive, you have to have a strategy, but I don't think, if you're not really sure... Uh, you know, if it's if the board is like too you know overwhelming, mm -hmm. um, you can just sort of play and kind of find your way to a strategy, and that'll still pay off. You just aren't going to trigger a lot of these extra bonuses. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I feel like I didn't really trigger a ton of bonus. Like you were really doing some cool combos and stuff. Mm -hmm. I really didn't do much of that this game, and I still did okay. No, you did. You obviously did. I think it comes down to getting your objective tile that's going to work out for what engine you've built. Yeah, exactly. And that's really what it yeah, boils down to. Yeah, as long as you can do that, I think you're probably good. Yeah. And my yeah. strategy, doing the math, I'm about a round late yeah. on soaking up all the income points. So right. if you don't get these book tiles out quick, uh -huh. you're not getting paid on it. Right. Until the end of every round, and yeah. it's once a round, and I only I only really got to reap it for two rounds. And uh -huh. If I had gotten it around sooner, that would have been enough points to really push me out. Right. Yeah, so. but it's tough to go that way. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, audience much more accessible probably yeah. for. Um, I would say if you if you're looking for a heavy chunky euro, this is not what it looks like on the surface because it looks like a lot of stuff going on. It looks kind of overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're, you know, unless you're somebody who's used to looking at all this cardboard. Right. Um, but if you are and you're looking for something more like table building, like kind of like what we, you know, at least what I kind of thought it was going to be. Yeah. Um, it's much, much lighter. Yeah. This so definitely... don't be turned off by the fact there's a lot going on because it's actually quite simple to understand. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, so let's talk about, I mean, theme and components. Uh, we talked about, uh, you know, last time, but we'll talk about it again in case sure. you didn't see the video. So, um, we're scientists. Did you feel you were a scientist? Kind of. Sort of, kind of? Kind of, sort of. I mean, it, uh, generally speaking, you're a scientist, right? right? So you're, you're doing a lot of traveling, you do a lot of studying, you're doing a lot of manipulating on these tech boards. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think the theme is, is there, but it's kind of loosely tied to things. Right. Like there are inventions, but it's not, it'd be cool if it was like, this is a, you know, like a gas, some flavor on it a or gasometer or something, you know, yeah. and this is something that I made or right, a, right. an electro telescope, yeah. you know, these are the bonuses yeah. you get for it. Like that's, that's where I see theme really come out mm -hmm. is in, is in that type of flavor. Yeah. Um, so the theme is, is certainly light. I think it, honestly, I think it matches the gameplay more. Yeah. Considering that it was a much faster game mm -hmm. and you get through it so quickly. So yeah. I didn't feel like I needed as much of a theme. So it was there. Yeah, like it theme was there, is there, but it's not dripping it with theme, yeah. right? It's a cool theme, yeah. um, and it all kind of works together. Like the master cards are pretty neat when they come out. Yeah, all, didn't, mine didn't come out. I had like Daniel Farron. They're all like inventors. But like he gives you a book. Do yeah, you know what I mean, I wanted to give you like a thermometer. Right. Yeah. See, that would be cool. <laughs> but it's like, you know, the theme is there, but again, it's not. It's not dripping and oozing yeah. off the game. Um, but component wise, though, it's fantastic. I think the yeah. art is really, really good. Sure. Um, the iconography is easy to understand. It's fairly simple. Very clean. It's not, you know, and again, for this being a lighter weight game, that's very important. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, um, it's, it is beautiful to look at. It is yeah. a beautiful game. There's no question. I will say that the rulebook is a little bit ambiguous. There are some so, ambiguity. There's some ambiguity in the rule book. Yeah. Um, um, but I think that's sometimes to be expected when you have a translated version. And I don't think there was any error in the English per se. Right. But perhaps from there are no, like a cultural standpoint, it wasn't as direct as I, at least I would have liked to see when it comes right. to explaining there, all exactly really, how you're supposed to go about doing your stuff. It needed a full blown example of how an action. How an action plays, plays out, out on yeah. like a board that's kind of filled in. It says, mm -hmm. okay, you play this card, you get to take this action, and it is now strength right. three, and that's all you get to do. Right. In a, except unless you want to do some of these quick actions. Yeah, like one of those things where it's like Mary takes her action, and then yeah. and then she's done, and then it goes to you know. Right. So right. like to show multiple players in a round, like right. an example like that would have been very helpful. Because they did have examples, but it was very like um, like either the first round of play mm -hmm. or. Something and then, like I said, they had the confusing arrows that showed you you're supposed to do it. Right. <laughs> yeah, it'd have been like um, a clear board, and then here's one card in that row, but there's no other symbols in that row. So right. You're like, well, if there were other symbols, would they trigger? But then the ones with the other symbols have like arrows pointing to yes. them that say basic action. Right. So you know. But it's really just a basic action add-on. And honestly, if you're looking for something a little chunkier, like I, I'm like, I'm like, 
oh yes, great, this is perfect. And so you kind of jump on that on that interpretation, I guess. Right. But but that's okay. But, so yeah. that would be my only my only gripe, I think. Right. So fun. let's go. So we'll cover expectations, right? Yes. So we expected it to be a heavier, chunkier game. Yeah. And it turns out to not be a heavier, chunkier right. game. <laughs> Does that make it worse or better? I don't know. Maybe for you, you're a little disappointed that it wasn't. I was a little heavy. disappointed. Um, I was expecting it to be, you know, heavy. I mean, like you said, I was expecting it to be a little chunkier. Mm -hmm. um, and especially having played it the way that we interpreted it, and I had so much fun with it right. that way. For that to not be the intent, I was like, oh. So we created yeah. our own variant, basically. We did, yeah. Uh, but I think I'm actually happier uh -huh. that it is the way it is intended yeah and, for I, what and it again is. i'm not saying it's it's bad the way that it's that it's intended or the way that i guess we understand that this is mm -hmm. how it's intended to be played i think it makes a lot more sense i mean you're not wrapping around the board with points i, I think it know. plays better this way i'll be um, honest with you in the in the way that we played it we actually we ended up like we both exhausted all of our tokens and stuff which actually presented a different kind of challenge though because you actually have less cubes than you have spaces on the board in which to put cubes mm -hmm. and to put books and actually the what got me at the end of the last game we played was that when i i went to go fill in like my last big scoring Thing on my books mm -hmm. and I was out of books yeah and I was like darn it and I was excited because I was like the well, next time I play I need to really not spread myself out so much and I need to really focus on you you have limited resources right and so to me that was like a really neat challenge and in addition to like kind of planning your actions you're almost like building your action board right where every turn you're like okay here's i'm going to do these and then it was so it was a little more thinky in terms of planning yeah. out how like almost like a programming kind of game which was really neat which was cool but, but... maybe i need to just retheme it and make my own game yeah because <laughs> but, but mechanically again the last round for me in our last playthrough yeah felt weird because we had done in these games you're not supposed to be able to do all these things you should but be able you to get. We do all those things. We almost no. I mean, like we exhausted everything, and, right. and our last few actions, like, well, I can't move anymore, so right. I'm, I have nowhere else to go. I'm not right. going to do that. I can't do this anymore because I've got no more cards. I need. To, I'll right. just. I'll just draft a card because right. I can draft a card, which added zero value uh -huh. to my end game. Right. And when a game gets like that, it's gone well past where it should have ended. It's that right. overstayed its welcome. And to me, that's when I, I, I kind of was like, this seems kind of weird, but it's cool. And I don't know if we just broke the game, but yeah. we, in a sense, we did break the game because we weren't playing it right. Right. Exactly. So with it played this way, I'm much happier with the way the game ended, the scoring, right. how everything kind of worked out. For me, this made the game better, and it actually improved my opinion on the game. Okay. And for me, it just left me a little bit, a little wanting. All right. So if if you had gone into this expecting a lightweight a light to midweight euro. Yeah. What would your impression have been? Then? I would like it, okay. and, I, and I'm not saying that I that I don't like it. So we said it's not like it's a bad game, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying that my we're talking about expectations, and my expectation was like chunky, heavy, thinky euro, and that's not what you're getting with this. Mm -hmm. So not that I mean, and I guess it's my own fault because I that's not necessarily I guess what was advertised. That's just kind of what I wanted. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's <laughs> you what you know? were dreaming of, and that's what you thought it was, yeah, but it's so, not. You know, so it's fine. So not, not going to knock it no, for not that at all. At all, because I don't, I don't think that would be very fair. No, not um, at all. On the surface, right. if you're looking for a light to midweight euro -y game that's hand management, mm -hmm. and you could do a lot of cool actions on the board and set up some really neat combos, right. the then game great. excels. It's yeah. wonderful, it's beautiful, it plays very fast, right. which... In, in the new method, which it does. plays yeah. extremely fast, yeah. which I appreciate because uh -huh. the last one, there was a lot of AP. You didn't get to see right. any of that because we cut it out. Uh -huh. But there's a lot because you're trying to you're manage planning, you're this ridiculous board yeah. of actions that are all triggering on each other. Combos. It's too much. It was honestly, for yeah. me, it was too much because I'm just like, I don't want to have to manage all of that. I mean, it's it's a lot, but it's a heavy game. Yeah. Um, and for what was going on, I'm like, this is just, it's too, it just seemed too overcomplicated right. for me. Um, where I am a lot more relieved with the way this plays right. when played in what we feel is the right way. Yeah. 
The intended way. The intended way, yes. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, so I hope that answers answers any questions. Right. So again, we apologize for uh, all the video uploads and takedowns. Yeah, and many well, it's many like versions the of this. The first time we uploaded it, there was like some kind it of was a issue. rendering issue. It had nothing to do with the video, yeah. other than the fact that my renderer just crapped out Your for like ten minutes. The they couldn't handle the rendering. Um, but I think you know we we again we we take a lot of pride in in the content that we put out and to put out something that we know is fundamentally wrong is just not something we're going to stand behind no so um if we you know minor mistakes oh i forgot to take a coin i forgot to move around track right. i forgot to draw an extra card that's not a game breaker yeah playing it the way we played before to me is a game breaker because that is not the game right that we're supposed yeah. to be showcasing here yeah and that's just how i it mean is. and the thing is like we do the best we can yeah with regards to like learning the game and everything this was it's, it's always hard to be like first right like yeah to not because i mean unless i'll be really honest like unless we're working with a designer like on you know, on a game that they've specifically said, like, we want you to do a video, we'll make sure that it's, like, perfect before it goes up, usually. Yep. You know? Um, but with these ones that we buy, like, we buy, they're fun, and we play them for you as we learned them. Right. And we go through the rules and stuff, and, and if there's something glaringly obvious, you know, we amend it. But right. in this case, it was very, uh, very much an interpretation thing. Yep. So, but anyway, that's, you know... Yeah, considering this is the this is the first video out there, <laughs> a lot of you are going to be getting a copy of this at some point, yeah. and or a lot of you have it. You're going to watch our video. Maybe not a lot of people have it. Right yeah, now. you'll be watching it to learn to play it, which right. is not what we intend you to do with it. Yeah. But it's <laughs> just an unintended purpose. consequence of what we right. do, and we don't want you to learn it our way if our way is wrong. Right. And that's just not not what we. Now we that being it. said. Yeah. We have the we have the other video, which I'll just call our variant. Video. Yes. <laughs> and um and I think we can make that we can link to it, right? I Are will, you gonna put that in the comments? I'm gonna list I'm in gonna, case you're interested. I'll and keep you're it feeling as feeling like having fun and Yeah, it'll be unlisted, so it yeah. won't show up in the video spread, but I'll put a link to it so you could watch it if you really want to see our variant of it or you just enjoy the banter because we had a lot of good banter. We, <laughs> my, uh, we had jokes in that. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> Uh, so it'll be out there and available available for you to watch. I didn't delete it. It's just it's just unlisted right yeah, now. So, hiding. all right. Well, I think, I think that about it. wraps it up. Yeah. So hope you enjoy the video for the second time, third time. <laughs> uh, that's it. We'll see you next time. See ya.